Entry for June 6, 1857, from the Journal of Henry David Thoreau. This is recorded to celebrate the sixth anniversary of LibriVox. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sue Anderson. June 6, 1857, 8 a.m., to Lee's Cliff by River. This is June, the month of grass and leaves. Already the aspens are trembling again, and a new summer is offered me. I feel a little fluttered in my thoughts, as if I might be too late. Each season is but an infinitesimal point. It no sooner comes than it is gone. It has no duration. It simply gives a tone and hue to my thought. Each annual phenomenon is a reminiscence and prompting. Our thoughts and sentiments answer to the revolutions of the seasons as two cogwheels fit into each other. We are conversant with only one point of contact at a time, from which we receive a prompting and impulse, and instantly pass to a new season or point of contact. A year is made up of a certain series and number of sensations and thoughts which have their language in nature. Now I am ice. Now I am sorrel. Each experience reduces itself to a mood of the mind. I see a man grafting, for instance. What this imparts chiefly is not apples to the owner or bread to the grafter, but a certain mood or train of thought to my mind. That is what the grafting is to me. Whether it is anything at all, even apples or bread to anybody else, I cannot swear, for it would be worse than swearing through glass. I only see those other facts as through a glass darkly. End of entry for June 6, 1857, from the Journal of Henry David Thoreau.